Final update with the front end. Got it all together, painted, painted black, so it actually looks pretty dark. But you can see I got the S10 tire rod right across there. Hardly even notice. This is rebar for like, I don't know, five inches and it goes into the adjustment. And I just welded that and then I can adjust this one. I probably have like an inch both ways to make them toe out, toe in, or just be perfectly straight is what I want. Then I got the upper S10 ball joint. I have, can't see it, but it's one of them things for a craftsman rear end. It's just one of them angles. And then it's just a flat piece of metal with a hole on it. I want to get a lot of leverage on that tire for the steering. Steering bar has one of them craftsman ones with it, a part of it, and it's extended, so I got that good turn in there to get around everything. And then got it back here, the I don't know, the front end thingies. But you got a piece of plumbing pipe up in there with the bolt through it and the two motor blades. Probably can't see it, but whatever, it's there and it works. Got the two springs. All I have to do is take this steel cable and have it go from the front end to the frame. So when I dump the clutch or whatever the hell or going up a hill and all the weight comes up, that it won't just go up and over or whatever, just completely let go and the springs fall out have it so it goes to a certain point and stops so the springs stay in in place and everything <coughs> yeah so I painted the whole frame and rear end painted the back rims front rims haven't got there yet but it's pretty nice having the S10 lugs because there's absolutely no slop in the steering at all pretty hard to steer but turkey truck tires so whatever rate comment subscribe I don't know what I'm gonna do next on it probably gonna take my exhaust oh it's hot take the exhaust off there's a few leaks here and there I might clean up my welds and put that high temperature paint on there and then I don't know what color I'm gonna do it there's no way I'm gonna keep this orange because it's scratched dented and there's no way I'm gonna match it so yeah, what color? I was thinking like camo or something, I don't know. The fenders probably just stay red because they always been red. So if they get scratched, they'll be red. Good idea.